Okay, so normally I don't like putting white on the whiteboard, but we're going to have to write. So here's here's the shape. We're trying to find one sixth. I've actually printed the shapes a little bit bigger so we can see them. There's one side of the yep. shape. And here it is, first of all, broken down into the three pieces. Can you arrange these three pieces to make that shape? There you go. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. So what are we, how are we going to find the volume of this shape now? Well, we know that... So each length, like this side, uh -huh. and this side, those are all a third. Right. Yeah. And then, well, so this is going to be two thirds of a third. Well, actually, if you just find the volume of this one, it's a third base times height. Okay. And the area, the area of the base is one ninth. Right. And then the height, height is a third. That's right. And it's also. Um, you can see when the way you were putting it together before. And actually, sorry, I can't do it with the marker. But it's actually one third of a cube. Yeah. Each one of those. So we could say that these pieces together are two thirds of a one third cube. So. Mm -hmm. And then what about this piece? That's sort of what we had over here, but it's the base of this prism thing. Uh-huh. It's an isosceles right triangle that is I think one third. Okay. So it's one ninth times one third. Or one eighteenth times one third. Why? Because you divide that to find the you divide the area of the base and that. Okay. So this is a half times a, a, uh, a third times a third times a third. Yeah. So it's a half times one third cubed. So it turns out we can write the volume of this shape as a half times one third cubed plus two thirds times one third cubed. Now we know that this isn't one third cubed. How come? Well, the volume. Because it's, it's if you had two of them, then it would be a cube. And if you have two of them, it would make a cube. Yeah. And we just have to multiply this by six, right? Because there's. Yeah. And it may be that it's easier to multiply the six through first because we have all these one third cubes, which we know are one twenty seven. Yeah. So what what do I get when I multiply the six through? Well, you can say it's so you can say it's three times one third cubed plus four times one third cubed. So seven times one twenty seven. And then so for this, seven twenty sevens. Then we subtract that from one, and we get twenty twenty sevens. And we get twenty twenty sevens for this. Cool. Yeah, that's a much easier way to think about it. I'm sorry I misunderstood you yesterday. That's that's a really cool way to think about it. Right. High five, guys. <laughs>